right, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's blog. This is your blog. In a very special way, I want to welcome you. Today is a match day, you know. We are supposed to be excited and bubbling in the air. In the, but the truth is, all is not well with the club Chelsea. I am not excited as I used to be because things are not going the way I want it to be going. Going to the game against Manchester United is not going to be an easy game. Don't be deceived, my dear friend, that we are going to just get it easy over Manchester United. No. Because as it stands, our squad is depleted. Injury crisis. Accumulation of cards, yellow cards and red cards. It is a problem right now as we speak, my dear friend. And so I'm not so excited going into tonight's game. Just to be very honest with you, I'm not so excited about it. As you can see, my mood, where I am, my location right now, tells you that my mood is not really right. I'm on bed. For the first time, doing a video from bed. Look, my dear friend, the coach spoke yesterday about many things. One of the things that he said, I want to read for you, he said, I'm happy here in this project. We are dealing with many situations we need to improve also. Maybe if someone sees the project from outside, maybe they think we need advice from the outside. <laughs> we are building something here and 200% focus on evolving and developing the project we want together. This is my focus. He said this is his focus. He is 200% focused on the project. And he doesn't need an outsider advice. <laughs> well, for the Tino, the same way, when the time comes and you are being fired and you are losing your job, your position as a coach of Chelsea, we also take it that way, that you don't deserve the job in the first place. That is when that time comes. Because Chelsea, we are not a football club that waits for two, three years to win a cup. Now, the assignment you have is to qualify for the top four and fight for caps, fight for trophies. That is the assignment. Pochettino, that is the assignment. E exactly so. And we are not joking. Christopher Nkuku, you sold us the idea that Christopher is coming back soon. But until now, you still reported that Christopher Nkuku will not be involved in tonight's game. So we have to be careful. Who and who have to be careful? He said, I hope he will be back with us soon, but not tomorrow. Then when? Can we leave the issue of Christopher Nkuku aside and move on? We all we agree initially that we don't need to rush him to the, you know, into the first team. But you came and announced to us that he said he's ready for the Newcastle game. The, la the next game against Brighton. You told us that he is ready, but you are not sure whether he's going to be on the, on the team sheet. In fact, you told us that you're going to assess him on Saturday before the game on Sunday. Today is Wednesday. We are going to another match, and you are telling us that you hope he'll be back soon. What exactly is happening on Nkuku? We'd like to know. Because as we, as we speak, there is a problem in our midfield, my dear friend. Conor Gallagher is missing tonight's game by virtue of the red card. Too yellow. Let me hear from you, my dear friend, where you think or who you think will be playing that role of Conor Gallagher tonight. In that midfield, with the double pivot, Enzo, Casado, and Conor Gallagher. Don't forget, our injury list is so long. Kanechukwemeka is unavailable. Ugo Chuku is unavailable. Madreka is unavailable. Who do you think is going to play that midfield role? role? Is that the reason why our coach said a lot of the academy players are going to be involved? And against Manchester United, is that a risk we want to be taking? My dear friend, it's up to you to tell me. Let me hear from you in that comment section. But one player, one player from the academy that I'm expecting to see in tonight's game, one player that we expect to see in tonight's game from the academy is Leo Castaldin. Leo Castaldin, I expect him to be part of tonight's game as a midfielder. Yes, he's from the academy, Chelsea Academy. I will, as you can see there on the screen, he's the only player that will expect him to be part of the game tonight. 
Portatino, he said he received a lot of criticisms in social media, the media, through my emails, through direct messages and calls. Come on. We are the first to feel that. But you cannot pay attention to this. So he's been feeling the criticisms. <laughs> Let me hear from you. You watching me. Have you also sent him some messages through his emails and the social media? A lot of criticisms. Yes, we will criticize you when we have to. Against Brighton, we all saw the tactics you played. If you want to wear a man down, 10 against 11, how you manage the game to end. We were virtually on our toes. We couldn't sit properly. I couldn't sit properly. I was virtually standing. I don't know whether to sit or to stand or to walk or to do whatever. And the way you manage the game, even taking up Raheem Sterling so that he will not receive another yellow card. Otherwise, we would have been missing Raheem Sterling in tonight's game as well. We applaud you for that. I personally, I took my time in one of my videos and I applaud you for, your, for the way you manage that game to end. In any case, before you begin to manage the game, there were flops. We have the weak, a weak defense right now. The, our defense is so weak. We are leaking too much goals. If we score three and we concede three, what difference does that make? Tell me, my dear friend, in the comment section. Our defenders, Rhys James, Thiago Silva, De Sassi, Ben Chiwa is injured, Levi Cowell. What is happening? Is it that the midfield, we, we are not able to hold the ball at the midfield to protect the back line or what? The, the, our defense is leaking too many goals, my dear friend. Can we check on our defense? Otherwise, when we meet and look, on a good day, Manchester City would have scored Chelsea 10-0. We, we were celebrated because we were able to play a drawn game 4-4 with Manchester City, right? On a good day, because they were battling with injury crisis then also. On a good day, they would have scored Chelsea 10-0. My dear friend, Chelsea defense needs to be tightened up. So if the coach is saying he is receiving a lot of criticisms, yes, when you do well, we will praise you. When things go wrong, we will also criticize. I'll be coming with my team line prediction in the next few hours. Yeah, I'll have to give my own perspective, the players that are available, and it's not going to be easy <laughs> because we have a depleted squad. I will give my team line prediction later tonight. Later tonight. I will surely do that. But it's not going to be easy. Yeah. It's not going to be easy. That for sure. So watch out for the next one where I will give you my prediction and my score line. Okay. Chelsea players watched clips of the yellow cars in a team meeting yesterday as Mauricio Pochettino desperately tries to read his side of their silly lack of discipline. Pochettino hopes the video nasty at their Cobham training ground will help ahead of Wednesday's visit to Manchester United. He feels they are routinely failing or falling foul of the re referees. My dear friend, they are falling foul of the referee's stricter approach to bad behavior this season. I'm sorry for the break in there. Look, it is very good. If he told them to be aggressive, he told them to be aggressive on the ball. He told the players to be aggressive, to fight for 50-50 balls. But he, what he failed to tell them is, he is going for it. If you miss the man, if you miss the ball, don't miss the man. You don't play modern the football that way. <laughs> uh, well, 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 well. Before I conclude, Fabrizio Romano on Victor Osimen. Yes, I will not end the new the, this item, this episode without Victor Osimen. Fabrizio Romano on Victor Osimen. So I am not sure they are the close. I'm not sure they are that close to signing a new deal. Napoli like to use the media to put some pressure. You know, a few days ago, the news came up that Napoli 
are presenting fresh contract agreement to Victor Osman to sign. Now, Vic Fabrizio Romano is reporting that Napoli, they are used to using the media to push their own agenda. So Napoli like to use the media to put some pressure. I think the opportunity for Osimhen to live in the summer 2024 remains really concrete. I don't think January is realistic. So Chelsea fans, the possibility of Victor Osimhen coming to Chelsea in January is not realistic. But in the summer, it's very high. On that note, dear friend, I will be back with my team prediction. And hey, Tonight is a match day. Go to Betwinner, link up with Betwinner. The link is there in my description. Click on the link, subscribe to them, register with them, and use my promo code TIM1979. T I M1979. And bet with Betwinner. And you win big. You win big. When I give my team, you know, scoreline prediction, uh, you listen carefully and Talk to your instincts. Whatever your instincts tells you, you bet and you win big with bet winner. I will see you in the next one, dear friend. I love you. Thank you for watching. See you.